Dave Cunha and Ricardo, my colleague. Hi, Charlie Warren. We, um, thanks for joining us in this live session. Um, like normal, we're going to run through it and then um, at the end you can type out any questions and we'll answer them. It is a live recording. We will upload the video onto our website um, at the end of it exactly. and um, you'll be able to download it at a later stage. So today we, I've got Ricardo here helping me. We want to talk about the Bebo Wi-Fi and the U-Control app that you can download on Android and iPhone. Android, iPhone and iPad. iPads, yeah. Um, for this presentation we're going to run through it, tell you a bit about it and then we're going to um, go through it on an iPad because it's a little bit bigger, a little bit easier to see. Um, so I'll just start off by telling you, uh, so the Bieber Wi-Fi, it's a little plug-in board, eh, Ricky? Exactly. It's this one. It's a very, very, very small chip that plugs on our control boards. You link control boards only. So you must have multicolor terminals, you must have an IC display, and of course you have the white connector for the Wi-Fi con connectivity. Okay, so we can only use it on boards that have got the LCD display. Exactly. Okay, yes. and tell me a bit about this. What is this 2.4 gigs? So our Viva Wi-Fi is working on 2.4 gigahertz. Right now we have as well the 5 giga, but uh, it's not comparable yet with the 5 giga. It's a new... It's the new 5G is a new generation. New generation. It's a new generation. It's brand new, so it's working on it, Italy. And you, you're saying here that it takes plus minus 10 minutes to install, eh? Exactly. From okay. the moment that you plug in to the end, is about yeah, 10 minutes. Um, the application is free, as you can see. So you can uh, download it from Google Play or Apple Store. And what can we do with this? What is the advantage of having this app on our phone? So the main advantage is that you can open and close the gate from your smartphone. You can open, stop as well and close the gate using the Wi-Fi or the 4G. So that doesn't matter where you are, as long as you have internet connection, you can open and close the gate. Okay. And you can check the, the position of the gate. If it's in the open position, if it's moving, or in the closed position. So that means if I've driven off and I've, I've, I'm unsure whether I've actually closed my gate or not, I can go in and I can check on the app and it will show me Exactly, yes. Okay. You can check it on the app. And then how many users can we, how many, how many people can have this application? So we have the administrator plus five extra users, so six in total. In total. Okay. So I think then this, um, we'll dive straight in, we'll plug a board in, we'll let it connect to our uh, Wi-Fi and we'll download the app and yep. we'll get going. Okay. okay. All right, so we have an iPad here and we have our Viva Wi-Fi already plugged in on our Talia uh, control board and the light is on, one of the light is on. So it means that the Viva Wi-Fi has power and it's ready to, to go. So how will we know when the Viva Wi-Fi is connected to our router or our Wi-Fi? So we must have two lights on. So once we have two lights on, it means that it is connected to the internet and to our router. Okay. For now it's only one light, which means that it's a virgin, it's powered up, brand new and it's powered up. Okay. So we go into the app store and we find the app. Okay. I see you've already got it there. Yeah. So remember guys, first of all, the iPad or your smartphone must be connected to the Wi-Fi. So uh, disable the 4G, the data connection, Bluetooth as well, just have the Wi-Fi. So if I'm at your house mm -hmm. and I'm connecting this up for you, yep. whatever, whether I'm using my phone to connect it or I'm using your own phone to connect it, I must make sure that that mobile phone is connected to the router of the house, the network of that house. Okay? Exactly. So this iPad is already uh, connected to the Wi-Fi. Yeah. So we open up the app. 
All right, and as you can see, we don't have any. We don't have any. It's just a motor. blank app. Okay. Exactly. We go to plus. We want to add an automation. Step one. Well, actually, here the app is telling you disable the data connection. Just connect your smartphone to the router using the Wi-Fi. Okay. Okay. So that's a step by step guide. Step, step two, two would be to plug in the Wi-Fi board. Okay. We yeah. Already, which we we've done. We've done. Wait for the light to come on. Just the Just first the one. Just the one red light. Yeah. Is on, which means that the Biva Wi-Fi is powered on. Can you see the light on there? Yeah. And is ready to go. So we go next. Check the MAC address of the Biva Wi-Fi. Where will we find that? So the MAC address is, a, a, you can find it on the back of the Biba. It's a white sticker. Uh, so there's a little white sticker on the back of the Biba with a MAC address on it. Okay. So we go next. Okay, so now the iPad wants to connect to the Biba Wi-Fi. So we go to settings and it should come up Biba Wi-Fi and that's the MAC address that is on the back of the Biba Wi-Fi. So if I check that, that will be the same address that's on the back of the little plug-in board. Exactly. Okay, good. So we click on it. Yep. We want to connect to the Biba. Just wait a little bit. You must see connected. So checking the quality of your internet connection. Connected without internet. Okay, so we are uh, connected to the Biba Wi-Fi. Okay, good. Uh, let's, uh, we go back to the app. I might have lost it. I might have to do it again. Okay. Product name. So here you can give a name. So like the name of your property or my gates or exactly. my garage door, something like that. Exactly. Okay, so let's, let's call it Gates. Gates? Yeah. Uh, we don't need to insert the email address of the installer. You can, but it's not compulsory. Network name. So here we need to type uh, the name of our Wi-Fi, the name of the... Uh, the, the end user's Wi-Fi. Exactly, the okay. SSID. So... And then we need to type the Wi-Fi password twice to confirm. Um. Okay, so in this setting, we're putting in our Wi-Fi's name, our password, passwords twice. And they have to be exactly uh, case sensitive, exactly the same, right? Eh? Exactly, it is case sensitive. Okay. So when we have entered the name of our Wi-Fi password and password, so they must be the same. And you can click done. Proceed. And now it's a four steps pro, uh, procedure. So the LED should go off on the Viva Wi-Fi on its own, in, on step number one. Then on step number two, it should start flashing. So we are still on step number two. Step number three is saving data. Still step number three. Step number four, connection to the BFT server. Where is the BFT server? Uh, probably in, in Italy. I oh, know it's that. based in Italy, okay. And these, with these now, I'd be able to open and close my gates from anywhere in 
Well, as long as I've got an internet connection, I'd be able to open and close my gate. Exactly. As long so as if somebody ready. phones me, tell me, oh, I'm at your property and I'm not home yet, so I can just open the app and um, open the gate to allow them to go in. Exactly, yes. Okay, From perfect. All right, congratulations, so, we've done it. Okay, step four was out of four. So we've done it. It's going to take a little bit for the automation to come up. Okay, so we've just got to be patient. But as you can see, both lights are on on the Giba Wi-Fi. So it's Telling us it's connected to the network. Exactly, it's connected to the internet and it's ready to go. And there's our automation on the app. So the name that we gave it, Gates. Yep. Okay, and we get a, an open, stop and close. So let's give it a try. Open. Let's and voila, our gate opens. Look at that. Very marvelous, mate. Let's have a look at what else this app can do for us, Ricky. So, so this let's say I had, I, had, I had a gate as well as a garage door, yep. okay, and I now wanted to add my garage door to this. What would I need to do? So if you want to add your garage door? I need another Biba Wi-Fi in my garage door motor. Yeah, you need yep. another Biba Wi-Fi. If it's a BFT garage door, you can just plug the Biba straight on the motor. Mm -hmm. If it's not a BFT garage door, you need a Clonix U-Link receiver. And then you need to bring the open command, close command and the stop command. So the Clonix U-Link receiver has got little ports that we can plug these boards into. Exactly. And then there's an output that can be wired directly to whatever automation device we're doing. Exactly, the non-BFT product. Nice, okay. So here you can add as many uh, automations as you want. And they'll all be listed out like that. So gates, garage door. Okay. You can create uh, uh, scenarios. Yeah. So here we have zero uh, at the moment. But if we have multiple, uh, like the front gate, your garage doors and so on. So what would an example of a scenario be? If you want to like press just one button on the app to open your garage door as well as your gate. Like oh, one okay. button can do everything. So I can just drive straight in off the street, straight through the gate and into my garage. Yeah, you okay. don't have to open the front gate, open the garage door. You can create this scenario. Now, I've got a quick question for you. Let's say we've set this up on my phone. I'm the installer. We've set this up on my phone at the site and it's all connected, it's all like what we've got here but now I want to transfer that over to the end user, my customer I want to transfer it over to him how do I go about doing that? So you are the installer and you have the app on your smartphone Correct and you program everything on your smartphone Correct Alright, so if you want to transfer oh, Let's go here you read Oh, you might have to close it So if you want to transfer the administrator rights yep. from your smartphone to the end user smartphone, we go to admin. Mm -hmm. And then here you have a button, transfer the administrator's rights. Right. Okay. So you will not have access anymore to the um, automation and you're going to have an empty list. On okay. your smartphone. So when I do that, when I hit that button, do I have to put in his mobile number or do I put in his email address? You can send uh, the link via SMS, email address, uh, WhatsApp. Uh, okay. Whatever so it's just there. a link to anyhow. Okay. Yeah, and I noticed if we just go back here, I noticed that it's telling us that the, the signal is excellent. Exactly. Okay, so obviously this is very dependent on the quality of the Wi-Fi signal. Exactly. Okay. So excellent, low or weak. Yeah. In this case is excellent, so we have a good connection. And I would I would say that there's there's apps that you can download that you can test the the Wi-Fi signal strength at the gate beforehand. Yeah. Exactly. Okay, exactly. so that might be a good idea is to if your customers are asking you for these um, this, this type of uh, 
device is to check the quality of their, their signal at the gate. And you can buy Wi-Fi extenders, so if need be, they can plug a Wi-Fi extender into at the garage that's going to extend the range on from their router out to the gate. Exactly. Okay, and good. One last thing that I want to show you guys. Yeah. How to delete. Yeah, how to delete it. Okay. So if you want to delete an automation and restart everything again and reprogram everything, there are two steps involved. One is to delete the automation from the smartphone or iPad, and the other one is to reset the DEBA. So let's do that. So I want to delete this automation. I go to admin. Now I have to type again my password that you have used to create your um, account. So here, advanced settings, password. So I just type the password. Proceed. And here I have uh, the button delete. Okay. So I click on that, delete. Are you sure you want to delete this? Okay. And now it should disappear. Let's refresh. Okay. Okay, it's gone. First step done. Second step, step is to delete it off the app. Yeah. Second step will be to reset the Bieber board. Exactly. As you How can do see, we go about that? Here you still have two lights on, so it's still connected to the internet, it's still uh, active. Yeah. So we need to press the reset button, which is the only button that you have here on the top. Yeah. And you hold it down until the lights go off, until one of those lights go off, like for about six seconds. So, so the only little uh, push button on the board, we push and hold that down for plus minus six seconds. That's it. The light goes off, the power light flashes, and that's it reset. Uh, wait, one light must be on. One so once it is on, the card is good to go again to... Now can I take that card out and I transfer it to another install at a completely different site, plug it in and reuse that card or...? Uh, no, you must reset the card if you want to do that. Every time that you change the Wi-Fi, name, the Wi-Fi password, etc. You need to reset the card. And the procedure is what we've just done. Exactly. Delete okay. the automation, reset the card. As you can see now, we have one light steady. Yeah. So it means that it's ready to go for... Ready for the ne a new install. A new install or to do again this procedure. Exactly. Okay, well, congratulations, Ricky. Thank you. Hopefully, guys, that um, helped with Biba Wi-Fi and our new control app. Um, thanks for joining in. If you have any questions, we'll go on to answering them now. Um, and until next time, take care. Thank you, guys.